ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I'm bringing you another episode of Building This City on the Adventure Time multiplayer server. Now, uh, you may be wondering what in the world is going on. This is completely out of band. Um, I am not releasing this on the standard schedule, and that is because I have something pretty exciting to announce. Um, and that is, oh, you thought I was going to tell you, right? Well, nope, not right now, because then that would defeat the purpose. I'm going to leave you hanging in suspense for a little bit while I take care of some of these errands. But there is uh, there's something coming to the channel, and I'm going to tell you about it as the time goes on in this episode. But uh, what we're going to do today is take care of a few errands that I want to take care of for upcoming episodes. Let that guy settle out. There we go. Okay. Real good. Did they start going? Yeah, they're, they're all moving. Yeah, that's fine. Um, now, in the last episode, I showed off some of the updates back here uh, with all these new farms. Since then, I have brought almost my whole collection of dogs and cats. I've got dogs spread out over the rest of the world, both in the end and the overworld. Oh, actually, in all three dimensions. I think, I, I think there's some in the nether. Yeah. Anyway, um, and, and this side was completely unfinished, okay? So it was still the, uh, what is that, smooth stone and dirt and, and gravel and all that. And you can see that I've done a little bit of work. So let's go over these one by one, shall we? I'm calling this the Bone Meal Hall. That is because each of these farms requires bone meal. So this one is the standard flower farm. You've seen this one. I did a tutorial on this and uh, built a number of them around the world here. Uh, three down in a flower forest, one in a swamp, and one at main base, but I figure, you know what, let's just put one here. I've got, got the space for it. So what you do is you fill up either this side or even this side with bone meal, and it goes into that center dispenser. And you see how that goes. There's a little clock that fires the dispenser, that shoots bone meal out, that grows everything there. And then the, the uh, clock goes around hits that dispenser, which releases a water source, and then pulls it back in. So we get enough water to break the the uh, flowers and grass into seeds. And uh, there we go. So we just got a little bit coming in there. And these seeds are useful for another farm a little further down. But um, you, you can see there is some wastage that goes on, but you know I really don't care. We've got bone farms around, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the next one here is a cocoa bean farm, and this, who did this design? Uh, you know, the name escapes me at the moment. Um, you know, last time I said that the dual edge extender was by Dro, and when, when it was actually by Nicemark MC, and I think I might get the same, uh, same problem on this one if I attempt to tell you. If, uh, when I find out, I'll put it in the description below. I will put a link to it, so don't worry about that. But the way it works is uh, you just put a cocoa bean on on that uh, jungle uh, jungle wood, and a piston moves it back and forth while also shooting bone meal. So uh, this is running off of a uh, burnout clock. You can probably hear it just going nuts back there. But there are three torches, so they just keep. They'll, they'll keep recycling themselves. Um, and we get occasional lag because it is a bit problematic on the server. So there we go. You just stand there, grab your cocoa beans, and, and it grows them. So we've got plenty of bone meal right there. Not a problem. There are six dispensers. And we'll take a look at it in the back. But uh, I didn't change anything much from the original... Uh, just put this design around it, still keeping the green stained clay and kind of the simplistic thing. Nothing nothing like the fancy, uh, messy texture like in the main hall. Just still keeping this fairly simple 
texture. You, there is some texture here, you know, with different uh, different layers there. And then over here is the big one. This is the uh, farm for the big three. Um, you can grow wheat, potatoes, or carrots. And we've got a burnout clock on this one as well. And that just shoots all these dispensers. And they've each got bone meal in them. And then you just run back and forth. We're going to do... We need some more carrots. So we'll get some of those. And we start this burnout clock. And you'll hear it going. It's a bit loud. And then you just run back and forth. And, and that pressure plate runs a piston that moves that set of dirt blocks back and forth and then you just run back and forth and collect everything and again I'm not too worried about some lack of efficiency here because we do have two bone farms on the server so refilling this is not an issue but the refilling part is actually the most interesting. Now, I saw this design initially on uh, Mumbo Jumbo's channel. He put one in his base. I couldn't quite figure out how he wired up the pressure plates, so I just just did something simple. It's a pressure plate on top of a block, and the piston is back under that um, piece of uh, piece of wood stair, and that just moves this back and forth. 13, 12 across, so they can move back and forth. But let me show you the refilling. Oh, wheat doesn't go in there? No. Um, we'll go back and look at that real quick, but you refill by chucking bone meal in there, and then it gets a little more interesting behind the scenes. Uh, the other farm here is a vine farm, and so you just come on. It's pretty simple, nothing automated. Um, and there we go. Just as you see fit, once they grow down here, then it's time to collect. But, uh, but yeah, fairly simple. No new mechanics or anything. Out here I'm going to put the wool farm. And you can see we're not quite done because this isn't decorated. And the sheep are still living up in the main base. So we'll have to take care of that. Back here, that's the flower farm. You've already seen that. Right here is the... Uh, what is that? The This is the burnout torch. And that is for the uh, cocoa bean farm. That's right. Am I stuck? No, not stuck. Okay. So here we go. This is uh, it's a little bit different than Mumbo Jumbo's design. He just filled the dispensers individually. Uh, I like a little bit more automation. So um, and maybe he does too. It's just he doesn't have space for it. So whatever the case may be, um, I have done some automation here. Um, so you see the hoppers, they're all going into the backs of those dispensers. And then if you notice, there are comparators coming out the back of each one of these. And what that's going to do is send a signal if these hoppers have any items in them. And it will go into these blocks here, each of which has a redstone torch on it. Yeah, there you go. So you can see that. So if there is an item in a hopper, this comparator is going to power this block, which will turn off this redstone torch. Um, if any of the redstone torches are on, then this line of redstone gets powered, which will then depower that redstone torch as it is right now. So you notice there, are, there is uh, no comparator on on that line and uh, all of these redstone torches are on so that means that this redstone torch is off um, so when it is on so we're going to send a signal down here into this block and what that is going to do well right now it is powered why is it powered mm -hmm -hmm. Ah, it's powered because there's a redstone torch under there. Okay, so that redstone torch on the face of this block is powering this block, which is powering this repeater, which is powering this block, and then extending this sticky piston, and that is keeping this hopper minecart from moving. Okay, 
So if we were to have signal coming from this torch, meaning all of these hoppers have something in them, which means the dispensers are full, uh, this line will get powered, which will power this repeater, power this block, and do the same thing. So this is pretty much an OR gate right here. So we've got two signals coming in. We've got one from the detector rail reading the contents of this hopper, and then one coming from that. So this signal says, hey, I've got items. I'm full. Don't send any more. And then this one says, hey, I don't have enough items to actually ship down the line. So um, that makes sure that we don't have this minecart running all the time. Definitely don't want that to occur. Uh, so, so right now, this signal... I mean, it's got 29, so technically it could run and fill up all of those hoppers. But the way I've got this set up is we've got 16 coming out of there. So we're going to be making sure that this gets a signal strength of like 3 or 4. Um, you know, I can, I can post the wiki information on how, to, how comparators do their contents, but uh, I don't know that right off the top of my head. So yeah. Um, so we don't have that thing running all the time. Definitely don't want that. I'm going to try and keep possible lag causers to a minimum in this base. We've got enough as it is with all the entities here. Um, the other thing you may notice, a repeater right there, that's because I'm playing around with a potential door design right there. If I manage to get it to work, I'll also do a tutorial on it, but for now, uh, I've just had to set that aside while I take care of prepping for what is coming and what is coming is something that's going to be happening next Friday evening wait a minute let me get the date straight I am recording this uh, let's see today is May the 22nd I am recording this before episode 38 has gone out okay episode 38 will go out on the 24th which is Saturday this coming Saturday from this recording and this one will go out probably Tuesday or Wednesday maybe Tuesday just to make sure you have enough time to get prepped for what is coming on Friday May 30th okay Friday May 30th that's all I'm going to give you at the moment we're going to go take care of another errand real quick um, let me show you this guy back here you might be able to tell from the noise yeah villager I've already taken all his wheat you gotta figure out the wool um, so he'll be useful um, but he's a farmer okay and uh, he's in a very temporary position but this will keep baby zombies away from him if they do happen to get into this base or spawn somewhere but behind there there is nothing so this is the end of the grand hall and the end of this base and what I really want to do is um, I've, I've managed to amass a large collection of enchanted books from the uh, Enderman farm and from fishing and I would like a place to store them currently well I did move them all over to the end but I was storing them in my bedroom up in the cozy cabin and uh, you know that's it's not cool we need a place that is suited for books so I want to build a library and it would be nice to have a little worker bee along with us right so let's go see if we can get a villager specifically a librarian villager and that may be easier said than done oh that ghast he never despawns because I always leave the nether right here so let's turn down hostile mobs at least for a little bit until we get into the village we need to prep this area as well okay I got that so I, I hope I have blocks on the bar yeah I should we've got that you know what I'll use dirt okay and we'll pop this off and we'll just do this out all right so there we go we are ready at least 
as far as that goes. This is for moving the villager. We're going to pull it from this northern village. Um, I kind of got this idea after I got that farmer. I got the farmer quite by accident. He just was hanging out in this village and he came out um, just he, he just went through the portal and uh, I didn't feel like getting him back in. I figured you know what we'll just keep him in in their base uh, which might seem kind of cruel but hey we'll have a little bit extra around because um, things have been kind of quiet around the server lately so we'll have someone to keep us company okay and maybe I'll try and name him at some point but anyway let's go see if we can get a librarian um, and we are oh there we go um, next thing it's currently daytime where's the Sun did I turn the Sun off no no I'm just having a hard time seeing there we go I change the monitor angle so let's go here here and we don't want it growing too much. We're going to run a rail into that piece right there. Uh, let's see. I know where most of the villagers are hanging out. Uh, don't want this guy. What's he got? Gravel and an emerald into flint. No Thank you. You got any in here? I gotta watch out for the iron golem as well. Let's see, do is there a librarian? There's a librarian in there. Let's see what we can do as far as getting him out. Uh, there's no babies. So what we can do is run. Run that. There we go. How about that? Now pop that torch down and run that there. You may be wondering how in the world are you getting all this iron? But you got to keep in mind we've got an iron farm and a witch farm. The witch farm gives us a plethora of sticks. The iron farm gives us the iron. So rails are essentially a renewable resource on this server now. And that seems kind of odd. Or it may seem kind of odd, but uh, that's the way it is. So let's see if I can get into there and separate out that librarian. Um, I can use this, but I run the risk of hurting one of them. I definitely don't want to do that because the iron golem would come after me in a heartbeat. So, and I don't want any of them to escape. There we go. Let's see if I can get him. What do you think? Yes, got him. Okay, so now we've got this guy. I'm just going to gotta move him over. Get him onto. Nope. I wonder if that'll work. So it looks like he's stuck a little bit on. Maybe I can get that block there. There we go. No. Not quite. He's got some competition. Okay. Well, I would I would try and get him out, but these guys are in the way. Hmm. 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 Let's let's throw some dirt down. Sorry for the silence. I'm trying to figure this out here. There we go. 
We'll just send them on out. There we go. And we will close this back up. And eventually come back and clean up our mess. There we go. So now we've got this guy. And what we need to do is carry this. And we'll take out these and try and get the, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we should be able to move him into the portal and then he should get caught. So what we're going to do is make sure, yeah, there we go. And he may be through the portal. I don't know if I gave him enough momentum forward, but uh, we shall see. Maybe, hopefully this works. Did it work? It did. Nope. And he's in. So we'll clean up and we'll come back maybe and eventually get one of those and he should be captured in in one of those is he no there we go got him all right So there we go, we'll just clean up here, and I should have my my librarian here soon. Send him into the portal there at the back. Now, normally I would have probably have done this off camera. Um, you know, you know, I do those uh, jump cuts and whatnot, but uh, you know, I really needed to get on and tell you about what is coming to the channel um, and that is next next Friday evening we're going to have a special guest on the server okay um, he gets uh, yeah he is caught this is good 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 okay so we got a librarian um, so we're going to have a special guest on the server. Now, I, I've said numerous times that this is a private whitelisted server and we are not open for ap application. Excuse me while I get that out. Okay, not open for application. Um, but, uh, you know, I do have control of the whitelist and so we can on occasion bring special guests on and uh, it's really evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis I get requests to play on this server and it's uh, I'm sorry it's from people that uh, I'm I really don't have that much uh, that many dealings with so we do on occasion have uh, people that we know and that we can be somewhat certain of their uh, their character um, and uh, that is the case here so we're going to be having a special guest um, and it is someone who we have interact with whom we have interacted um, not on this channel necessarily but um, I have done a farm at her request um, she she asked for one, asked her community for one, and so I made that little cow farm. And if you have been paying attention, then you will know that I am talking about Grafoniac. Yes, uh, Grafoniac will be joining 
the server um, I will be as a guest next uh, Friday evening while she is doing her marathon to minecon stream so she put out the call for servers to uh, just do server tours and well, there was an open spot and we are a server and we're open to doing little world tours like that so we don't mind one bit so uh, I thought that would be a really cool opportunity for her and for us on this server and for you as viewers uh, she does a good job on commentary um, and uh, she she has a lot of fun with this game and I know a number of you are as well and I certainly do so I figured it would be perfectly fine to bring her onto the server and show her some of the really cool builds that mostly Caleb has been doing but uh, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. So, so, uh, so yeah, that'll be next Friday evening. Um, her marathon to Minecon stream is going to be going on for 12 hours, okay, from 7 p.m. Central Daylight Savings Time to 7 a.m. Central Daylight Savings Time. That is a U.S. concept, um, time concept. So, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh oh. I uh, didn't want to do that. So let's get him. We're going to stop him somehow. Okay. So um, the my part on the stream will not be that whole 12 hours. But I do suggest check out part of it uh, if possible. Do, do check it out. Um, uh, she will be coming on this server... Um, from 10, well, it's 10.30, her time, I gotta get the time straight, um, let me, let me do that real quick, I've got the, the time kind of messed up in my head, I think, so let me, let me check that real quick, and I will be back with you in just a moment. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, real quick. The live stream is going to happen at 21.30 Central Time, which is 9.30 Central, or at least my portion on it. And uh, for Eastern, that is uh, 10.30, okay? So 10.30 Eastern Daylight Savings Time. If you are not in the Eastern U.S., uh, just, you have to do a quick time conversion uh, between that and yours. So... Uh, Anyway, feel free to stop on by and show her some support. And if you can, maybe uh, help her get to Minecon. Um, I will not be going, so uh, so no issues there. But, uh, but yeah, if you uh, if you stop on by and you can see some of the stuff that maybe I haven't shown or or you haven't been around for when I showed it uh, previously, whatever the case may be, do stop on by, show her some support. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully uh, we will have a fun time with that. But, hey, that is it for this episode. I had wanted it to be a little bit shorter, but, uh, hey, that is what it is. So we've, uh, we've got a librarian for future projects, which is pretty cool. And uh, I've shown you some of the farms. Still going to be doing some more stuff down here, but I will do that off camera and show you again next time maybe i'll have it done by the live stream who knows but uh, do stay tuned for that and uh, hopefully you enjoyed if you did think about putting a like on it it helps me out a lot and uh, as always i do welcome your comments questions and suggestions um, leave those below or even catch me on twitter at mc soap the great but um, i do thank you for sharing this time with me uh, thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't quite it. Real quick, I forgot to say that I was going to put a link to Grifoniac Stream right here in the video. So annotations turned on, and it is right here. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.